Here's Prescott. Just throws it deep as far as his arm can take him. He caught it! Micah Parsons on the move! Micah Parsons is in! Welcome to the Big Show, Tony Pollard! Oh, going deep, it is intercepted! But I'm not going to say a word, but I will say one thing right now! Prescott, touchdown! Good protection, and the pass wide open! Touchdown, Lamb! Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's Space Cowboy here with another video for you guys here today. And we are continuing our position evaluation series for the 2023 Dallas Cowboys before the start of training camp. And we are talking about the offensive line today. If you missed the previous videos, there's a title card at the very end of the video where you can click on that and it will take you to the previous video so you can get caught up with the series there. Also, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit the like button to show your support and fight against the YouTube algorithm. On top of that, subscribe. Subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell as well. We're very close to 12,000 subscribers before the start of training camp. I'm pretty sure we're going to hit it at this point. But just for extra safety measures, let's just make sure we get there. So with that being said, let's talk about this offensive line because there is a lot of storylines when it comes to each of the individual positions on the line. Some are more set than others. Let's not get it twisted, but let's go ahead and start from left to right. So the first is left tackle. We know the situation there is that now Tyron Smith is set to be the starter, assuming he doesn't get hurt, which I think is now a foregone conclusion at this point. But now really the future is looking like Tyler Smith will take over at left tackle once this year is over because I don't see any real reason after this year for Tyron Smith to continue being a Dallas Cowboy because of his injury history. He will have finished out his contract, and luckily we redid it so that it's not as big of a cap hit. So you'll have him walk out the door, and then you'll most likely slide Tyler Smith over to left tackle. So your long-term solution is there. But the question is, is, okay, so what happens now? Well, until further notice... Tyler Smith is the left tackle. Now, you do have Matt Wiletsiko, who has been getting reps at the left tackle spot. So now the question is, okay, what are you doing with Tyler Smith? So we'll kind of move over to that guard spot because this is really the storyline when it comes to that left side is, what do you do with Tyler Smith? Right now, it's assumed he's going to be playing left guard, which film shows that he can be a damn good left guard. And I think that the Cowboys need to figure out what they're going to do with him because... If we kind of go back to the previous training camp, it felt like they wanted Matt Wiletsiko to be the left tackle and Tyler Smith to be the left guard. And to be fair, Tyler Smith probably wasn't going to get any playing time at left tackle unless Tyron Smith did eventually get hurt, which he did. And so that's where we kind of had a blessing in disguise there. And I think that a lot of us were like, well, shit, what's going to happen now? So... For right now, it seems like the Cowboys are dead set on it being Tyron at left tackle and then Tyler at left guard. Now, the question is, okay, so what happens when Tyron gets hurt? So we know that Tyler Smith will get kicked out to left tackle. And I know that there was previous assurance that, hey, you had a guy like Jason Peters who was eventually going to retire. I mean, he hasn't really given the all clear that he's going to retire, but still he was a solid player at that spot. And then you know, things come to pass, and now it's like, well, now you kind of have options. So let's assume that Ty, uh, excuse me, Tyron gets hurt. Now you throw Tyler Smith to left tackle. What happens at left guard? So we have names like Chuma Adoga, Asim Richards, and then an interesting name is Josh Ball. That was brought up by Stephen Jones. So there's going to be a competition between those three, and I think I don't think that Tyler Smith needs a lot of time in the preseason this go-around, just to be completely honest, maybe a couple drives, but I really need to see what a Sim Richards can bring to the table, I need to see what Chuma Adoga can bring to the table, and maybe Josh Ball at left guard, different story because he's playing on the inside, because we saw what he did at right tackle and he absolutely was trash. Um, I mean, it, it's really hard to find out because 
it seems like they want to have a competition there. But if we're talking about upside, Asim Richards has the highest upside of the entire group of the three. And I think that if Asim Richards can grow into that group and really emerge as a possible starter, and I'm not saying the dude's got to be a Pro Bowl talent to start. He can be a solid, you know, left guard and that will suffice. I think a lot of people overrate or underrate, depending on how you look at it, offensive line play, like, it's either you're really, really good or you're trash. Well, you know, at this point in time in the NFL, having a solid starter is really much a welcome sight. And I think that the Cowboys are in a weird flux of their rebuilding of the offensive line because if Asim Richards becomes what I think he can become, your left side is set for the next four to five years, give or take. Then we move over to the center spot, and we already know who the established starter at center is now. It's Tyler Biotish, and Tyler Biotish has been improving every single year he's been in the league. Now he's really emerged as an above-average, top-of-the-league center, which when I say that, people will be like, Space, that's ridiculous. Well, my question is, is can you name 10 other centers that are better than him? In my head, I can't. So... You look at that and you say to yourself, okay, so you have a above average and still improving center and you kind of look at the right side and the right side's pretty much set. You got Zach Martin who's still doing his thing, you know, albeit he's getting older, but you still have a guy in Zach Martin who's dominating. And then the Terrence Steele question is really the biggest one. Is he going to be there? to start week one so far our indications are looking like he has progressed so well that he could be there but if he is not there what's the plan at right tackle well there is a possibility that you could see tyler smith get thrown at left tackle and then they move tyron to the right you could see tyler smith get thrown to right tackle but i highly doubt that's a possibility given with how the cowboys have been talking I just think as, you know, this current point in time, your offensive line is going to be Tyler Smith at left, well, excuse me, because I'm assuming that Tyron's going to get hurt. That's why in my head I'm like, also, their names are too similar. (laughs) So Tyron Smith at left tackle, Tyler Smith at left guard, at center, Tyler Biotish, Zach Martin at right guard, and at right tackle, Terrence Steele. I think that the Cowboys have done a fantastic job at, putting together an offensive line. And then if you were to go with the, uh, you know, the foregone conclusion that Tyron Smith gets hurt, you got Tyler at left tackle and most likely uh, Sim Richards at left guard, uh, maybe Chuma Adoga, depending on how the Cowboys feel about a Sim Richards. Because again, like I say with these rookies, you don't know how they're going to look like when they enter the league. But you have options and I think that the Cowboys have done a good job at secretly building back up their offensive line and I think that's going to be key moving forward because if you can get that left tackle and left guard spot with young guys moving forward you know then you could be like okay well Tyler Smith is a superstar at that position and we'll sign him a Sim Richards we would like for him to come back if he comes back on a cheap deal four to five years down the line that's cool but we can always draft a guy, and this is what I've been wanting to see from the Cowboys for years now, is them drafting offensive linemen, for example, like a Tyler Biotish, right? Or in the instance of a Terrence Steele, who was an undrafted free agent, you get these dudes, you bring them in, and you end up replenishing your offensive line without having to utilize a first-round pick unless it's the best player on the board. And that is exactly what I've been looking for with the Cowboys. They have put themselves in a position where their offensive line, while it is not the greatest line in football, it is definitely a good one to say the least. So with that being said, what would I grade this position group? Well, if we're talking about health not being a concern, this group is like a, you know, an A, maybe. I think that maybe I'm being a bit too homerish on this, but if I'm talking about the certain instances that can happen... Maybe a B plus. I think that people need to understand that the Cowboys offensive line, while last year wasn't the greatest, you have to consider the fact that you had young guys on that line and also on top of that you still had guys that were improving. You also had, you know, Terrence Steele get hurt. A lot of stuff moving around. 
and they still got the job done, all the, you know, stats prove otherwise. I think that it's gotten to a point to where the Cowboys offensive line is actually underrated in the NFL, and that's okay with me. Uh, you know, keep everything under the radar and all that other stuff. So with that being said, guys, that is my position evaluation for the offensive line. You tell me down below what you think. Do you think the Cowboys offensive line is overrated, underrated, just right? I think it's a top 10 unit in the NFL. I don't think that it's top five. Uh, but then again, you know, it would have to be a real hard look to be where the Cowboys are ranked amongst these other teams. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one and have a good one.